Hey, it's Elaf, and today I'm going to give you a walkthrough of the updated Casper platform using three items of clothing to show you how to create beautiful lifestyle images with AI. Casper uses the latest state of the art technology to help you create product photos and edit them if you need any touching up. And we've got a new updated version which has two different modes. So there's creative mode and there's accurate mode. And I'll show you how to use both of them and what it will do to your products if you use both and how the workflow looks for each two. The creative mode works by taking your input image and the AI learning what it looks like and then creating an output with the product anywhere you want it in the photo compared to the accurate mode which takes your exact input image and just generates an AI background around it. So I'm going to give you the three examples and I'm going to show you the creative and accurate mode on each one and that way you can decide which is best for you. You don't have to use both of them but you could see it could be kind of fun to compare and sometimes depending on the input photo it might look better on creative mode and it might look better on accurate mode so you could be the judge of that. We'd love to hear any feedback on the update so if you have any thought, feedback, questions feel free to let me know in the comments and any support is appreciated. So we'll get straight into it. I've got my laptop here. I'm going to share my screen and show you how it works. First I'm going to show you how to generate photos of this blue t-shirt and how it can be done on both creative and accurate mode. Here I'm on the background remover tab and I'm going to start off with this blue t-shirt. I can upload a photo but I did this earlier so it's in my assets and I'm going to click the green generate product photos button to send it to the third AI product photos and editing tab. Once it's in the AI editor tab you can see the default mode is on creative mode so I'm going to start typing in my prompt. In this case I want this blue t-shirt on a 25 year old man in a modern living room smiling and then click the green generate button. The creative mode means that the AI will learn how the product looks and replicate it when generating a photo. Sometimes it works really well, other times you have to be a bit more detailed with describing your product in the prompt. This is what the first generated image looks like. I like it so we'll save by clicking the arrow on the top right. Let's say I also want to generate a backfacing pose of this top, I'll edit the prompt and click generate. This can be done on the creative mode because the AI will learn how the product looks like I said and will generate what it thinks the back will look like without you necessarily having to upload a photo of the back of the product. You can see because I didn't remove the word smiling from the prompt it's trying to force show us the smile of the model so I'm just going to remove that and generate again and then I'll save the photo. Now I'm going to show you how the same photo looks but in accurate mode so you can compare with the one that you like the best. First I'm going to select accurate mode on the AI editor tab then I'm going to edit the prompt to be more exact on a 25 year old man in a modern living room smiling. Then in this mode I'm going to paint over the part that's showing the back of the t-shirt before clicking generate. Accurate mode will use the exact input image that you upload and generate an AI background around it. So unlike the creative mode where it's best for you to describe your own product in detail, here in the accurate mode you don't need to do that because it will use the exact initial input. You could see four images are generated in this mode and the product is in the exact same position as in the input image. I'll select the one that I like and then click the edit button so I could touch up things around the product if I want to to make it look more seamless. Here I'm going to paint around parts of the top and generate and if I want to keep editing or magic erase something I could do that as well. And then when I'm happy I'll click save. And this is how the creative and accurate mode images look beside each other. You could pick which mode you like best with your products and you don't always have to use both. Next I'm going to do the same thing and show you how this red fur coat looks in creative mode and accurate mode so you can compare them if you like. I'm on the background remover tab like before and I'll select the coat that's in my assets. I can also upload the photo if I had it in my computer but after I click on it I'll send it to the AI product photos and editing tab by clicking the green button. Since the default is creative mode on this tab I'm going to type in my prompt straight away and here I want to see this fur coat on a 40 year old woman smiling, black trousers, standing outside a cafe and then click generate. It's good to emphasize that you want this exact product otherwise the AI might try to replicate or give you a slightly different one because that's what happens on creative mode. You can go into more detail on the product like the color, the material, the shape, fit or whatever else you like. I like this first photo that's generated so I'm going to download it to my computer and generate another one for variety then save it. Feel free to regenerate or edit the prompt if you want to change anything else as well. Now let's compare with a photo generated in accurate mode. So I'm going to go back to the input image on the background room with a tab, then I'll send it to the studio editor and reposition it. Like I mentioned before, the accurate mode will take the exact product and generate only an AI background around it. So make sure you place it in the position that you want in the photo and then click generate product photos to send it to the AI editor tab. Make sure to click on the accurate mode since the default is creative, then type in the prompt. In this case, I'm editing the creative one. So now it says on a 40 year old woman, smiling, black trousers, standing outside a cafe. Then I'm going to paint over the back of the product so it doesn't show show up in the photo and click generate. Four images are created, flick through it to see the one that you like and if you want to touch up anything you can so I'm going to click edit to send it to the image component on the left and I'm going to touch it up a couple times before saving. And now this is what both of the creative and accurate mode photos look like side by side. 
finally, I'll show you how to create these photos of this yellow swimming costume on both creative and accurate mode. Starting off on the background remover tab, uploading the photo or selecting one in your assets before clicking the green generate product photos button. It gets sent to the third AI editor tab, which is set to creative mode on default. And then I'll type in my prompt. In this case, this swimming costume on a 21 year old Brazilian woman, smiling long curly hair in a blue and white locker room and then click generate. It takes a few seconds to load and then a photo is generated on this creative mode. I like it so I'm going to save it and generate another for variety. You can see that the AI has replicated it pretty well so it looks the same as the initial input image but more fitted. I like this other one so I'm going to save it and move on to the accurate mode image editing. Here I'm starting off on the background remover and send the product photo to the studio editor tab which is the second tab like before. Here I'm going to reposition the product in the place that I want it and when I'm happy I'm going to click the generate product photos button. You can always come back to the studio editor and reposition the image and generate it again if you're not sure where you want it placed. On the AI editor tab make sure to select accurate mode and then write your prompt. In this case I'm going to try the same one as before and then click generate. It takes a few seconds to load and then four images are created. I'll select the one that I like the most and I'm going to click edit to edit some parts and make it look more natural. I can regenerate if I don't like it or edit the prompt or reposition it in the studio editor. And in this case, I'm going to edit it until I'm happy and then save it. And here, this is how both the creative and accurate mode photos look for this swimsuit. So that was the tutorial. As I said, you could play around with both modes to see which one works best for your products or just to understand how it works. Let me know if you have any questions. I'd love to see what you end up creating. And until next time, I'll see you soon.